Sometimes you think you can kill the guy who has a vanguard, and you quickly realize you can't. You really quickly realize that you're underestimating arguably the best item in the game. Never try to kill the guy with the vanguard. It's an important lesson, guys. Don't do it. Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're doing a little bit of a uh, little ranked matchmaking for you guys. Not sure who I'm going to play, what hero I'm going to pick, but uh, let's get into the drafting. So if you don't know what this is, if you're immortal, the highest immortal in the game picks the players, and you get to see their roles, so you have to pick a well-balanced team. Now, I don't actually know who Crimson is. Yeah, I honestly don't know. But they picked a mid laner, so I don't really need to pick my mid laner early. It seems like there's kind of a lack of supports, I think. So I'll, I'll pick up two supports early, kind of force them to pick a support. Yeah, I'll pick up... Because I really don't know who Crimson is, but I'll pick up this guy. I, I really don't like when people have their thing on all the rolls, because then I don't really know who, like, what they really want. But I'll assume this guy is five, and then because I don't really know what this guy plays, this guy apparently plays four, so I'll pick him. And then I can pick my mid later. So I don't need an offlaner because I play offlane, so I have two supports, maybe a mid if I need it. So I need a safe laner and a mid laner. There's quite a few safe laners, and then... I'll probably get this guy for mid. Worst case, I pick... No, no, worst case, I already have a mid. And then I can pick this guy for support or mid. Yeah, so I pick uh, I pick safe lane and mid. And I think I'm good. That should be all right. Also, I want to tell you guys that if you've been struggling with solo queue and you're looking to get to the next rank, I'm going to be able to help you. Like, literally, with the Game Leap website, I'm going to give you guys guides that are going to make it unbelievably clear on what you need to do. So if you've been stuck in the solo queue grind, you don't know what to do, and you want to become absolutely broken. <laughs> but like, actually, you want to become much, much better at Dota, and you want to take it more seriously, the Game Leap website is going to help you do that. So click the link down below, I'm going to help you get to the next rank, and I'll see you there. So in terms of the meta heroes that I tend to play that are in the pool, we have Doom, we have Alchemist, uh, and we have Underlord. So those are probably the big three that tend to be really good. They picked Undying. I tend to enjoy playing Doom against Undying, even though it's kind of okay because Undying can sort of kite out Doom ult. You can also tombstone the Doom people. I could go like an Alchemist. Underlord is not terrible against Undying, just because like you, you just get a little bit too tanky. I could also go the Brood, but I don't know what this probably monkey support. I think I'll just go for a standard. I'll go for a safe Doom. I, I want to show you guys the power of Auras. Oh, I get last pick. Okay, I'm against Terrorblade. All right, I think I'll go... I'll go... I can go Underlord. This lane can be a little hard. I mean, it's a good Underlord game, no doubt. Like, out of all the characters I can pick, it's a really solid Underlord game. Uh, it's a very clear game to buy Crimson Guard against heavy physical damage, zombies, Monkey King, Brood, Mother Spiders. Even though Brood's kind of... Actually, you want to buy Pipe against Brood because of her E. But the damage reduction against TB is really great. I want an Aura Buyer. And now we also have a Root for Puck, which we needed some team fight. We had no team fight. So this is perfect, right? Underlord truly balances our draft. I think Doom could have been okay because that hero is sort of broken and I can buy auras on Doom. So Doom would have been completely fine. But um, I think the Underlord matchup against TB, I don't think it's that good. The only reason why I say that is the lane can actually be a little hard. Uh, when, you ha when you hit Vanguard, it's totally fine. Like eventually it's fine. The early levels, I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna go for a wand here just because TB tends to spam his Q and Undying spams Q. So I wanna ha have as much sustain as possible. But yeah, it, we'll see. I, the key to this game is just not gonna be honestly having a good first few waves. And then from there, the gameplay should be pretty simple. It's gonna be farm up the auras and then group up when my, my team is ready. Yeah, part of the reason why Underlord's really good right now is his incredible base stats, 71 damage, uh, base movement speed's not that good, it's just nighttime right now. And six armor with, you know, I, I do have a full extra armor for my starting items. But yeah, the wand is really good here, as I said, for the for the spells that will be spammed. So another thing that I'll probably do this game is lane the brood at some point, because CK does not lane brood. CK can get solo killed by brood unless he dumpsters the lane, which he could, honestly, he could, could. The reason why he could is like, brood is really bad at level one now because they Nerf Brood, where when you're in the web at level 1, it used to give you 5 HP regen, now it only gives you 2, which is way worse, and your Q gives you 10 less damage at level 1, so the hero is, like, far worse. Um, also, I think the key at level 1 is to group up at the runes, but I did not instruct my team to do so, which could kind of hurt us, and we'll be alright. So we're gonna cube the Vanguard, very simple build, Vanguard Mana Boots, uh, then as I said, the Crimson. After Crimson, maybe I... I'll, I'll go Greaves, I don't think it's the best pipe game. Pipe's good against Puck because of the fact that, you know, you can save your supports when he tries to go on them. So the pipe is nice, but I think at the end of the day, the Greaves is just more well-rounded this game. I can also purge Silken Bola and the, and the Puck nuke. Yeah, I'm just going to nuke here just because they're going to commit on Quap, so I'll get some good damage. But then I just want to go back to the lane. I can't really worry about Quap. We'll get decent damage with that Q, get some stick charges, but... All right, at least if TB got first blood, I would have cried. Ooh. 
But yeah, going for First Blood's too good this meta. It, gives, it, it just gives more gold than before, I think. I mean, First Blood always has been, like, huge. Like, feeding First Blood is so bad. So I almost always try to instruct my team in pubs to contest Rune. It's like four or five, like they did, like the enemy team did. So I don't know. This guy kind of looks like he's trying to meta me. So I want to keep the lane slightly shoved so that if he does try something, he's going too hard. This is not how you do this. I'm going to drop a nuke here just so they can't run through me too easily. Hit the end, hit the end dying. He actually could kind of... Okay, this is fine. They took a lot of damage there and TB, you know, TB doesn't want to take damage. Can you give me a tango? So yeah, the early level is going to be rough. That's just how it is. That's just this matchup. I want to just keep pulling creep aggro. Yeah, I can't trade this guy at all. I do have a nine wand, so I'll be fine, but it's just kind of the nature of this matchup. Oh my gosh, I hit for <laughs> I hit for zero damage because of the, the undying. So a little bit rough there. We need to get the side pull off, which we kind of didn't do. He's out of mana, but this guy's going to hit level two. This is where I can kind of die. I don't, you know, I think I'm honestly just dead. It's not first blood, so honestly, I think I'm okay with dying. Yeah, I like, I'm going to miss all the creeps though. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. I feel like, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This lane's just really hard early on. At least now he uses meta, which obviously helps because when that ends, we'll be fine. So like sort of if, if it's for first blood, I feel really bad about it. But there, I almost feel like it's sort of OK. Right, I shouldn't be feeding this guy double decay. Hit the tombstone, hit it, hit it. Oh my god, I might die. OK, I'm not going to die. TB should have manned up and clicked me. Jesus, I'm going to drop a self. Yeah, this is what I meant. This this is what I was nervous about. At least now there's no meta. I'm dying is... <laughs> I keep getting thrown off by the fact that I'm missing damage. But okay, hopefully we're close to getting over the hump. Obviously, this is not great. Okay, connect the wave here. Can't get double decayed. I need to click on dying. Just click on... The reason why he needs to click on dying away from me is so we don't get double decayed. But he just keeps like trying to trade TB, which you don't do on Rubik because you don't click... You don't do any damage to TB because this Rubik... He's playing the lane a little bit wrong, in my opinion. And we're about to hit level 3, which is pretty huge. Okay, about to hit Ring of Health. That was weird from TB. He, like, decided to hit me three times, and, and he lost practically two creeps because of it. That was very random. I don't know why he decided to, to hit me there. I really don't. I think I'm gonna take second point E, it scales really well. And now we have Ring of Health up. The Firestorm can be okay and is good with Rubik because you can toss them into it. I just don't really feel like we're gonna have... Okay, good damage, Aaron. That's partially the power of taking the, the, the point in E. No, I just missed a Flag Bear. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a creep. <laughs> okay, they're gonna have meta again soon. Pretty hard to deal with it. Undying's low though, so at least at least we have that going for us. The undying being low kind of means it's it's I mean TB can't like commit on me if it's not like he can go on me if I'm near um you know Rubik and he has no backup. It doesn't it's not that bad of a matchup by any means. Especially now that a ring of health and here I just want to grieve his CS. I just have to pay attention to Undying. So Undying obviously was pulling. Okay, nice, we can get this Flag Bearer here. We're gonna use these two creeps to actually keep the lane back. Okay, he's pulling. So he's pulling on Rubik, which means I don't need to do this. So I'm actually gonna auto attack this creep down because I don't want too many creeps. And you know, we died to TB. Obviously he's like hyper farmed, which sucks, but it's Undying TB. It's arguably one of the strongest lanes in the game. It's definitely one of the strongest lanes in the game. It's not even arguable. Nice, Rubik got the large creep and we got the XP. And I'm gonna fake take this under the tower. I'm gonna bring it to the left. He might pressure me out. Okay, he's not. He probably should be. Because if I can static the lane here, I'm gonna try to get the XP for that creep. No, I didn't get it. If I can static the lane here, even if it's only temporary, it'll mean that they can't pressure me previous to my, my Vanguard timing. And now Undying, he doesn't really zone me anymore. So as I said, it, it's kind of about getting over the hump. And I'm nuking the wave here just because it was a little bit too many creeps. Maybe it's kind of bad because he can almost deny my range. And now we have our Vanguard and we are officially invincible. As long as it doesn't get sniped. We are close to invincible. I am missing 20 strength and they pulled. 
No, they did not fall. I don't think this works. There's no way. I have a Vanguard. One Fable, I'm fine. Yeah, this is... <laughs> that was bold. Okay, there's a Monkey King here. I do not know what's happening. Yeah, okay, that was horrible for them. Well, <laughs> sometimes you think you can kill the guy who has a Vanguard, and you quickly realize you can't. You, re you really quickly realize that you're, you're underestimating arguably the best item in the game. Never, never try to kill the guy with the Vanguard. It's... It's an important lesson, guys. Don't do it. Don't dive him. You lose two heroes and you use your meta. I want to buy an extra set of Tangos. The only problem with Vanguard is it gives you a lot of HP, but not actually that much HP regen. So, unfortunately, I didn't get any of the kills there. Sucks a bit, but that's all right. TB, I wouldn't say he's like screwed or anything like that, but I actually shouldn't have nuked there. That's bad. I don't want to push the wave. Yeah, but this is why I bought the Tangos. I don't want to get stuck on 500 health because then maybe I can die to like Coil, right? I don't want to be in that range. I might take the next point. They obviously pulled here. I might have to take the next point E and grief TB. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Definitely good. I mean, this guy can try to trade with me, but it does not work like that. Kill Tombstone, kill Tombstone. All right, just kill Tombstone. All right, I'll, I'll take that. I'm gonna try to get my Q off for damage. <laughs> the backguard is so stupid. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh my god, they almost died trying to kill me. You can see why this hero is stupid, right? Rubik hits a Fade Bolt. My E reduces their damage by 22%. I have a Vanguard as well. Yeah, this TB has Sunder. He's trying to Sunder you. Alright, they have people running to the left, but I'm not going to worry about it. My hero is not the chase hero. My hero is the sit in the lane and bait rotations like that hero. So I'm actually not going to push the lane here. I just, I have Tangos. I actually could have tried to chop him. Yeah, I don't really, I don't feel pressured to like try to flash farm. I mean, TB can jungle. And if I think that he's jungling, then I'll start to push in the lane. But yeah, you can see he wants to farm lane creeps if he can. Glimpse and base. Nice, nice. So now I will certainly push in the lane now because if the wave goes under tower, he just loses all the creeps. So this is huge. He's losing it. Yeah, this is, this is so bad for him actually. So there's a monkey king in the trees here. We can kill him. You know what? I'm just going to take these creeps away from Monkey. Obviously, I'll try to kill the Monkey when Disruptor comes over. I have Mana Boots. Or can we pressure this guy? Just fuck with him a bit? Maybe not lift him. Need to hit the Tombstone. Hit Tombstone. Alright, maybe this isn't good. There's four heroes here. Sheesh. Alright, this is not great. Just try to do all the damage I can before I die. All right, yeah, no, that, that was just a bad call, I will admit. It's too easy for them to punish like that. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's certainly bad. I just should know that Rubik and Disruptor aren't str that strong yet. Like, maybe if we have like Tusk or something like that, that kills a lot easier, you know what I mean? But I mean, we executed it wrong, so maybe we should have killed him. But at the end of the day, that play, the reason why it's bad in hindsight is it's too easy for them to respond. Their heroes are, they have a Monkey King, they have Tombstone, you know, they have Puck, they can too easily connect, so not not my best play, but I'm gonna rock block over here. I just don't wanna let TB farm this neutral camp for free. I'm sundered. Why did that all aggro like that? That's so unlucky. TB has no sundered. Can we smoke gank him? He used it on me. Just wanna tell my team that he's no sundered. And I wanna start poking him with my Q here because, well, he doesn't have Sunder, so he's very gankable. I'm paying attention to the map, though, so I'm, I'm like slightly low. I don't want to die. I think I'm fine, though. Should be able to nuke this. This guy really want to eat this? Yeah, he can. Okay, if the neutral item, if I can get Oculate Bracelet. So I'm going to nuke out here. I want to deny all the creeps from Monkey, and I have no interest in giving this guy any farm. I I really don't like when people go into the game of like the perspective of like giving supports farm doesn't matter. I just personally don't understand it because it certainly does matter. But one thing I can say about this game is my CK completely seems to be left alone, which is huge. Obviously, he's certainly more farm than this terrible is just getting run at and such. So that's good. Now I'm going to push this in here. I'm going to skill my portal because kind of looks like they want to set up mid. 
That's at least the perspective I have. I mean, that's the that's what I see on the map. Maybe it's just a monkey being a goon, I don't know. But want the Ocul Oculus Bracelet here, perfect, we get it. So that's gonna give us mana regen, help our, our ability to spam Q, and it's gonna give us 10% magic resist and some stats, it's just fantastic. The Brood seems to be not really doing anything to CK, so I can continue to just sit in my lane. I even die here? I honestly don't even think I die. Maybe I do die. Yeah, I die. I, I mean, I guess I'm up too far. I should call a smoke gang. I, I feel like, I definitely feel like my team is not making any moves whatsoever, but I should, I should not be hitting a tower like that. Do you want to farm top CK? I can stall the brood. I mean, he like doesn't really... Should kill some of the small ones, yeah. He's gonna have Sundry care. Go top. I killed my Quam. So once again, I just wanna I wanna sit here now, because Brood can take the tower against CK easily, but not really against me. So bad, their puck is snowballing so hard. So Brood actually can pressure me a little bit, honestly. Like it's not, like he honestly could nuke me right now. I guess he just doesn't know. What is he doing? Okay, this is not how he's supposed to do this, no. I can tell he doesn't really know what he's doing. They could gank me, that's the only thing, but this is horrible from him. What is he doing? He's just feeding the spiders. Okay, that's really weird. So I am gonna pick up a cloak next. I kind of see puck as the main threat early game. They're gonna dive me bot. Kind of need to get out. I have so much damage from this Brood. I mean, I'm happy trading farm with Brood. Like, I really am. Because I think my hero just scales better than Brood, generally. But I definitely feel like I'm going to get run at now. I'm trying to watch the map. I see the puck heading in my direction. So I'll back up. I'll just farm defensive jungle for a little bit. I don't really want to do this. I want to stall the tower. But I don't know what's happening mid. My cops kind of just not making too many moves at this point. Looks like we tried something with Static Storm. I don't really know. Yeah, I, I can't bother with this tower. It's too late, for sure. Good portal into this. They're diving top, bottom. You guys look, I'm not gonna die fast. Look, look, look. I have wand, I'm trying to bait the puck in. I need to juke the orb. This guy orb in. He's stuck, he's stuck. Oh my god. Oh god. I think I'm fine. Yep, yeah, I'm fine. This guy crazy? He's actually chasing? He's chasing. What the f <laughs> oh. Classic go on the Underlord, guys. What did I say? Come on! You can't go on the Underlord. I say that, but I was 0-4, so I, can't, I feel like I can't really say that this game, that you can't go on Underlord, because I'm like... I wouldn't say I'm feeding, because like... I'm not feeding, but I'm not. Pl I'm certainly not playing perfect. I could tell you that for a fact. But uh, you can kind of see why I don't really mind taking the risk. They hard commit on me like that, and that's why my hero counters TB. He clicks meta, and he actually does basically zero damage. Like it's, it's not saying zero damage is not an over exaggeration. It's basically zero. So I even could have tried to portal out. Like after the coil ended, my best play might have been to coil out, but I, I felt that I could bait them. And I ended up being right, thankfully, that time. So, yeah, my CK, I think the big upside is CK is freaking massive. I have a level 13 CK. Their carry is only level 4. Uh, pff, level 4. It's level 10. And their Brood also got slowed down. I'm almost two levels up on Brood. And as I said, I think it's way easier to play Underlord mid-game than Brood. I think Brood is still strong, but just a little bit harder to play. Okay, so we're almost at our pipe. Pipe is uh, really good, obviously, against the puck. It will make me complete. The only thing that was even coming close to killing me was, was puck. So once I have pipe, I kind of want to signal to my team to like Roche, maybe smoke, something like that. Oh wow, my CK solo killed the puck. Holy, that's huge. That's really huge. I can portal a spot. I'm gonna portal us on a dying. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. 
just take the tower. My Guap dead? No, she's fine. Yeah, I didn't want a portal there. I ended up realizing it was not the right play because we can take the tier two, which is huge. Okay, we actually can't take the tier two. No, my Quap blinked into the Oh, she lived. TP out. Nice, huge, huge, huge. Okay, I should try not to pay too much attention to my teammates. So I'm gonna go Greaves next. I just wanna stack the auras, like honestly. They're not, they're not going to be able to kill anyone, I'll be honest. Like, it's going to very quickly get to the point where if my team is grouped up ne near my auras, they're actually not going to be able to kill anyone. Hopefully I get bullet. I actually really don't like any of these items. I almost prefer the bracelet. Just for mana regen. So, I'm going to pick up... I do need another clarity, to be honest. I should just click the tower, I think. Can you guys come towards us? Let me tank it, let me tank it. We can rush with next Phantasm. So, I think I should just farm the outside camps on the map. I could TP bottom as well. The reason why is I can portal to the fights if I really need to. That's certainly an option. I also kind of want to try the Pavis item. Does anyone on my team have it? No one's buying it, so I'm going to actually pick one of those up. I just want to try it. Don't don't play bottom. I'm just clearing the waves. We should set up for Roche top. Or, oh, it's going bottom. Oh, mid. Yeah, it's just a Monkey King pick off. I'm not going to react to that. He's dead. It's important not to get distracted with like the random kills around the map. Just mainly focus on your job. My job is to clear bottom. Just keep pushing that out. I don't think they can really go on me, to be honest. TB will eventually have enough damage, but it's, it's honestly not for a while. And here's where I like to take Firestorm Radius. A lot of people take... Yo, can, we, can you guys smoke to bottom? We can get a kill on Roche. No, come Roche. And what the Pavis item does is, first of all, it gives me mana regen, which is actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. That's like kind of the part of the reason I want it over mech. The mech is actually going to hurt my mana pool a lot. And I just, I almost need a soul ring. I can, I can defend it. You guys should just rush. I'll defend it. I'll defend it. I really don't have mana. I almost, yeah. I'm just going to buy out the mangoes. I like need to be able to spam my spells. So yeah, I like taking Firestorm Radius and then Firestorm Cooldown. It just does a lot of damage. Uh, I, I, there are some pros that take the the pit radius or whatever and it is really strong like i can tell why they take it but i don't know i just like the firestorm like the firestorm cooldown in pubs feels really good when i feel like i can farm most of the map so i see my team smoking top here which is part of the reason why i'm playing up i'm trying to bait the enemy team a little bit i'm gonna click the outpost so maybe they don't just dis no disruptors here and i'll just farm these camps i think we honestly should pick up the tempo a little i mean this tv he's not gonna do anything for a while like even with daedalus he doesn't do that much but He'll probably aim for Daedalus next, and that's when he can do a little. But max out aura now. Pick up the last clarity, because I kind of need it. Alright, maybe we can rush this time. Bruh, how does Brood just die like this? He just like ran through us. Alright, go rush, go rush. So TB, he went Scotty, which... I'm not going to lie, I think it's a mistake. I understand why he would do it, but he's just going to do no damage. Like, it's as simple as that. He, he's literally going to do zero damage. He has to get to his next item timing. We can push. They don't. I don't think they can fight us. We need to protect the next creep wave, though. I hope TV is not cutting it. I need to make sure TV doesn't cut the wave, because that's his best play right now to stall off this game. Farm this camp just for efficiency. You should come here, Quap. Oh, no. Why are my supports in front? Can we help? Right. Why? Why? Come here, guys. Come here. They're chasing me. I, I don't understand why we're not just grouping up, but whatever. That's really frustrating. Yeah, I'm gonna go help my TB here, obviously. I'm almost mid. He can ward the hill and look for a glimpse. Dude, this Monkey King is insane. <laughs> How does he make that play? He's pretty tanky, I'm not gonna lie. You guys can go help CK. I'm just showing so it's not obvious. Basically, me hitting me hitting mid tower will make the TB think that my team's not there. Maybe I should walk over now just in case. I think they got him. Yeah, okay. They don't need me. I didn't think they needed me. 
Because I saw him pop the Manta, so I assumed he would just kind of get stuck. Static Storm is also a pretty hard counter to TB at, at this point. When he doesn't have BKB. Can't really get Sunner off. Push mid, push mid. Come here. We don't have a bot wave. Come mid. I don't want my team going on a wild goose chase. If this monkey ulti doesn't do anything, just kill him. <laughs> it like literally does nothing. Like, look at them hit the... <laughs> <laughs> this hero is so goofy when it's it's dying man. The right clickers just don't do anything. And I didn't even pop my Greaves or my Pavis. Just stay guys, they don't do anything. They don't do anything, they don't do anything. Just... <laughs> you thought you were killing my teammate. Joke's on you, I have my auras. Go, go get the creep waves. Oh, you want to end? We can end. I can TP back in. Guess we could end, right? Pick up a solar crest just because, you know, might as well buy another aura, right? Maybe they won't let us end, honestly. I don't know. I mean, we can't end if they're trying, I think. You guys are getting backstabbed. My Terrorblade. <laughs> Terrorblade doesn't know where to go. Coming Disruptor. Time for Terrorblade to do no damage. Hype up my guy, just make sure he doesn't die. Why is he like standing still? Can he try to live? Auras, guys. Auras, they, they they might be the meta. You buy a bunch of auras, tell your team to rush at some point, and then you tell them to run down the lane and you click your spells. And you assume you're much stronger. That's how you win a major, kind of. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys kind of learned a lot from this game. Obviously, my, some of my early deaths weren't great, but at the end of the day, like, the puck kind of picked on me. Terrorblade Undying, it's a very hard lane, but I, I I understood, like, it's important for me to understand how the lane plays out, where on meta and on the tombstone, it's just going to be tough, right? The early levels are just tough. It's just the case spam, but as long as I focus on the outcome of the game and how it's supposed to play out, I don't really care, you know? Like, I, it can go a little bit poorly, but... It's not gonna. It's not really gonna kill my my ability to hit timings, right? As long as I hit that Vanguard, eventually I can bait the enemy team in, and we eventually got that big kill on a Puck bottom and big kill on a Terribly bottom because of the Crimson timing. And yeah, that's that's the power Underlord. You bait people in the side lanes, you push in, you push in the you know the side lanes, you hit your timings, and eventually they can't kill anyone. Take a quick look at the net worth. We actually were ahead of Terrorblade at this point, at minute ten, which is pretty crazy. Looks like we actually wow the Brood got smashed. What the. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.